Hello, welcome to the Ace Makes. Back with a video today on collage, specifically kind of photo montage. So I'll be giving you some tips, tricks and techniques um, and talking you through making this piece, giving you some ideas and inspiration of what you can do with those treasured photos. Um, something creative you can do with them. All right, let's have a go. Okay, I'm going to start this technique by um, just having side by side the, the finished kind of collage here and what I've done is using Word um, on the picture format setting I've inserted the picture uh, picture format and then drop the transparency right down to about 30% so that I can draw over the top and try and explain my kind of thinking and the planning stage so you can see here what I've tried to do is first isolate areas I definitely want to keep as kind of photographic elements so what I've decided to do is concentrate on the head the hands the instruments and um, then looking at opportunities to find silhouettes so this guy in the middle I've decided is going to be a silhouette and you know if I think about this area of dark in the background you know I could mark that on as a starting point okay so shading that in obviously this is going to be quite light in terms of tonal value but against this dark background I can kind of visualize by doing things in this way I'm going to extend that up because as you can see I've introduced some text um, that's going to run across the top top here um, can mark that on as well and where possible as well as adding in this sort of you know graphic shapes like circles triangles rectangles are really good for accentuating certain features drawing attention but the main thing as well as echoing this circle across to the dot pattern here is I've tried to think right okay I've got a whole silhouette of the body here um, ignoring the hands instrument and head but the shirt the clothing etc and where possible I've tried to bleed that into areas of the background so you can see here what is background also becomes shirt down in the corner where I've edited this head out this isometric paper has bled into the silhouette of the 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 fella in the bottom left so I think that's my main kind of um you know thing to try and communicate when you're planning is look for first where are you going to keep photographic elements and then wherever you can silhouette key shapes and dissolve and combine key shapes into background all right okay getting started with techniques um do i need to say this yeah i probably do you need a print out of a, a scan of your a good quality print out of a scan of your photo and then i'm just with a nice new scalpel blade cutting out those photographic elements that I want to keep and build the collage around. Okay, so I've cut out my photographic parts. Really, not much when you look at it like that at all. Um, but you know, so satisfying cutting things out. Why is it so satisfying? I think it, does it take you back to being a kid? I don't know. Um, so all I'm doing now is I'm just gathering those parts um, onto a, a sheet of paper that I'm going to arrange my collage on. Keep them safe pop them out of the way and I think I'm going to work on this if I go back to my plan um, you know my circle that's going to be behind this dude so it probably wants to be about if I look at my plan I reckon about the diameter of that masking tape which is convenient you get another use for me masking tape so there's many ways I could make this disc, but I'm actually going to use my gel plate mainly because um, I love the surface quality, nice and smooth and even. So I've made a paper stencil that you can see there. If you've not used a gel plate, by the way, you know, check out some of my other videos. Um, really great way of, I mean, they're so versatile. Um, you'll pick it up, I'm sure, from just watching this quick application of it. So um, inked up in, in, your, in acrylic stencil on the top flipped it over and there you can see leave it a, a minute or so and you can see when you peel it off that lovely even texture 
Okay, let's move on to cutting out some of these key silhouette shapes. So I'm going to go for this fella in the middle. All I've done is lay my kind of template photo print out, if you like, over some pink paper that's going to be my collage piece. And no drawing out or anything. I'm literally just cutting through the two sheets at the same time. Okay, I need to trim him up a little bit. So I've still got the um, circle I cut from my, my gel plate stencil, so I can just position that and use it as a guide to draw my line, trim out, and you can see starting to come together, first steps. Right, the next thing I think I'm gonna do is, is work on this background area. So um, I want it to be really dark, so I'm going straight in with some black Indian ink, and you'll see me just brushing some on there, checking the tonal values work, it's all good. So um, get that collage piece out of the way, and then I can just really, you know, expressively kind of go for it. Nice to have some expressive kind of edges against that kind of graphic disc shape that I've just printed onto the paper. Okay, while that's drying, I can look at some transfer techniques to get this kind of clothing shirt silhouette of the character on the left. So this time I'm going to add a little graphite on the back um, and I'm going to use that to kind of trace transfer the shape. Obviously I've got the cut out parts already that are going to act as a guide that I can just draw around. So I'm going to use this kind of dotted isometric paper and you know I want the shirt to bleed into that bottom left corner. So I'm just going to fix that down with a couple of bits of tape and then you know using a pen or a pencil you just press over and it's going to transfer those lines onto your collage piece just fine. Obviously um, I'm using a pen here, I'm going to switch to a pencil for the parts where I'm drawing directly onto the collage paper because they're easier to rub out if you need to. Okay, so there's my piece, I can snip that out and you know I'm, I'm pleased with that so I'm just going to commit to it and I think that's a good, good message about collage, commit as quickly as you can, don't fuss too much. I'm going to stick these pieces on, trim that down a bit and yeah, looking good. sticking them down, trimming it out and that piece is finished, ready to move on. I can offer that up to the bits I've already done and you'll see how it's starting to take shape. Okay, I'm gonna shift over to the right hand side now and try and deal, I should have said this is my dad actually on the right hand side, a picture of him warming up for a gig in the 50s. So I want this kind of tissue paper, tracing paper um, material that's got a bit of transparency to it and I'm gonna cut some dots out um, I'm not going to use that lattice, although I'm going to use it for a later collage. I've arranged my dots there, kind of like how that's looking. Okay, next stage was to, um, I gel, plated, uh, gel printed another little sort of green splodge up in the background. Use the disc again to mask off, um, that's all quite self-explanatory. Um, I'm now not so keen on this pink one, but I'm going to keep working with it as a kind of compositional tool. I think I'm going to redo that. Um, Let's do this main element first though, so, you know, I, I know I want my photographic parts, but I, I want my shirt outline here to bleed into the background, so I've got this kind of music score, old photocopy, some sheet music, and um, again, just using the cutout parts as, as a rough guide for my shape, but I'm also taking that shape down below and up high above the head to kind of extend there you go up above the head and you know I'll be cutting that whole section out now and you'll see how it will work as a, a kind of complete piece where the two areas have bled into one another so let's just see how my blue dots look I love the transparency of them you know anything with some transparency works beautifully in collage whether it's tracing paper tissue paper um, it's all going to look good especially where you've got some graphic elements underneath that kind of show through so yeah, definitely pleased with that, can commit to it again, get those stuck down, um, and that's another section done. Okay, at this point I realised kind of from a tonal value balance point of view that green just wasn't dark enough, so um, I've gone in with some Indian ink over that acrylic, which looks really cool actually, I like ink over acrylic so you get some interesting effects when it's dry because obviously the acrylic is waterproof. 
Okay, so I'm going to redo this central silhouette because I wasn't happy with the pink. I uh, found this centimeter squared um, kind of uh, graph paper and cut it out. You'll notice I've left the top left intact though, and that's because I want to combine it with my background numbers. Now, to plan out the numbers, I've drawn a text box on a sheet of tracing paper, sectioned it off into four, and this is going to allow me to kind of, um, you know, compose moved it away from the collage when I've got the sizing right and then I could you know put it on a white background I can see it a little easier to to design my lettering and my, my numbers or whatever so my kind of half cup silhouette I can now lay this tracing over position it transfer that and you can see quite nicely the two different sections are kind of married up become one and you know you can just go over your lines if you need to as I'm doing there and you've got a nice clear outline to cut your one complete piece so it just takes a little bit of planning and forethought clever use of tracing etc kind of like that continuity the two shapes merging into one that's better I'm much happier with that so if that goes there that piece about have his hair overlapping that knowing a bit that's good oh man it's like a jigsaw it's a nightmare and then this it's gonna need chopping down but about there put my mat around it that'll neaten everything up but yeah it's getting there So definitely nearing kind of finishing line now, free to stick a few bits down, transferring, keeping that sort of one on the on the left quite spindly and thin to contrast. Didn't want it to get too top heavy, so I thought that would be a nice contrast with the, the chunky nine and the five and the seven. Trimming down, sticking down, and uh, I've decided to go again with the blue kind of tracing paper for the seven so I'm just sandwiching up two pieces there cutting straight through no need to trace transfer just you know use the outline as a, as a guide for cutting with the knife get that bit stuck on um, obviously got a little bit of trimming to do around the head there you know you can use the the uh, negative space of your piece you've just cut out to position you know if you find yourself in this situation like I have so I can just you know, pin that down with my finger and try and hold it tight get the other sheet of tracing paper out of the way a bit fiddly and hold it all in one place I can then just mark through that area that I need to snip out to reveal the the photographic part of the head a bit clearer okay last few steps now you know this um, manual collage or you know photo collage photo montage you know it's worth saying I, I love digital um, collage and, and and use it loads and if I'm honest I, I do do more digital collage nowadays than I do manual collage but using these traditional techniques is fantastic I think it's really therapeutic just you know cutting out arranging composing it's more challenging because obviously you've got the benefit of resizing and you know everything is so much slicker and easier in Photoshop or Procreate um, this is nice I think it's more of a challenge it's more of a jigsaw and of course you get that lovely physical textural quality um, to the final outcome too which no matter how slick your kind of digital editing skills are you never get that with a printout so the last thing to say is um, cut a mat I think a uh, a nice matte frame for a collage is really important so I've got my own matte cutter I think if you're into collage and printmaking like I am it's well worth getting one if you haven't already um, <clears throat> putting a matte that's really close cropped as you'll see now um, when I position it over just really tightens up the composition um, tidies everything up and you know I think it just finishes off your work with a bit of you know gives it a bit of zing as well all right so look I hope you've enjoyed the video I've really enjoyed making this one. Um, remember, subscribe, support the channel if you enjoyed it, share, like, please comment before uh, below. I love the comments, and I'll see you soon. 
for another video and some more ideas. All the best. Happy New Year. Take it easy.